What's up, Cal gang? All right, we got another differential equations problem here. It says y prime plus two over two y is equal to cosine of t over two t squared. And it gives us initial condition. Okay, so when it gives us initial condition, that means we're gonna find a particular solution and not just a general solution. So first you do have to find the general solution and then you have to find the particular solution. So let's find the uh, general solution, right? Okay. So what we have here is not a uh, not a simple problem because you have to uh, you got this y prime here and this plus sign. This plus sign makes it so you can't just you know divide by both sides and make it really simple. You're gonna have to do a little trick. So for this trick, I explained it in my last video. You can just go back one video and you can find it there. But we're gonna multiply both sides by mu. So mu y prime plus two over t mu y is equal to mu cosine of t over t squared. Okay, now basically what we're trying to do is we have this uh, equation here, mu y prime plus mu prime y is equal to mu y prime. And then what we can do is if we have mu prime y, we can take the integral of this side, take the integral of this side, and move on from there just to get a simple one y. So to do that, how are we gonna do it? Well, we have to make this equation match this equation. So what we already have here is mu y prime. We already have that. Now over here we have y, y, but then we have mu prime, and mu is 2 over t mu. So to find out what this is going to be, we're going to say mu prime is equal to 2 over t mu. Okay, then we just have to solve out what this would be. So let's see, d mu over dt is equal to 2 over t mu. Now we're just going to divide by both sides. So 1 over mu, d mu, is equal to 2 over t dt. Okay, now we're going to integrate both these, so it's going to be ln absolute value of mu is equal to 2, um, yeah, it'd be 2 ln absolute value of t. Uh, don't worry about the plus c on this, not too big a deal. Okay, then we're going to set e to both of them just to cancel out. So it's going to be e to the ln absolute value of mu is equal to e to the 2 ln absolute value of t. Now, if you know how this works, the 2 ln t is the same as t squared ln of t squared, and then we're going to, you know, cancel, cancel, so that'll just be mu is equal to t squared, and then boom, there you go, that's what you have for mu is. So we can test to make sure this works. So we have, if we take the derivative of mu is equal to, uh, so it'd be, right, it'd be, why am I dying right now, t to the third. So, um, I'm very dumb, okay. <laughs> You guys saw that. You guys did not see anything. Okay, then if we just test this out here, so it says that mu prime is equal to two t over mu, so that'd be like two t is equal to two over t, and then mu, so it's just t squared. Uh, so obviously one of them will cancel, it'll just be two t is equal to two t. Boom, we figured it out. We found out what mu is. Okay, so that's all we need right now. We can erase the rest of this. If that didn't make too much sense to you, go back to my previous video. I explained it a little better there. Um, if it, didn't make, if it didn't make sense to you, good for you. If it, I don't know. If my explanation should still make any sense, then go watch somebody else. That's all I have to say. Okay, so we have this now. So we can just say that uh, y and then mu, so t squared, is equal to, um, so that's going to be t squared, cosine of t over t squared. Awesome, watch this. Cancel, cancel, boom. And this is prime, I forgot that. Okay, so then if we take the integral of both sides, it's just going to be y t squared is equal to the integral of cosine, which is sine, right, plus c. Okay, then it's going to be divided by t from both sides, so y is equal to sine of t plus c over t squared. Now let's plug in our initial condition, make it work. So we have y of pi is equal to zero. So if you plug in pi to this, sine of pi is going to be equal to Zero. <laughs> zero plus c over t squared. Uh, what is zero? Or what is t? So it's pi. So obviously to make this equation work, c is just going to be equal to zero. All right, then we can just uh, go back to this equation, but with c is equal to zero, y is equal to sine of t over t squared. That's our final answer. Yep, oh, I solved this one pretty quickly. Good job. Pat on my back. All right, yeah, that's how you solve this problem. This one's a pretty simple one for um, what it is basically, because the T-squares cancel out, so that's nice. Uh, yeah, so stick around. Uh, good luck on your...
What's this class called? Differential equations? Yeah, good luck on your differential equations homework.